Hello, hello everyone. It's time for Thursday Thoughts and Arty Fun. Today's going to be all about planning and procrastination. Which one are y'all? Let us know in the chat. But before you do that, say hello. Because that's the one way we know how, that you're here in the live. This is the stream. This is it, folks. If you don't see the chat, then that means you're in the replay. And then you just need to leave a comment below. This might be the last stream, maybe, before we hit our 8K. <gasps> there might be one more. I don't know. We'll see uh, how it all goes. But we're getting very, very I, close. I, I so, haven't been through all of my boxes yet. Uh, well, that's fine. I mean, we, we can put this, you know, the, the giveaway off. It's just I will say these are the streams we're pulling, you know, some of the winners from. That's how that'll work. So... Do say hello to the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, I don't know that you're here. I'd like to know that you're here. The other thing we'd love for you to do is subscribe to the channel <coughs> if you're new. That's the one freest way you can support what we do here. It's very helpful. Helps us get to that 8,000, you know, giveaway. And y'all are excited about that, right? I think so. All right, let's say hello to everybody, and then I will do announcements. I know everybody gets so excited about announcements, especially this one on fear. Oh, oh, wait, just... we got to do one other thing. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we are PM Artist Studio. In the blue today. All right, we've got Acme, Angela, Apple, Art Curious. That's Miriam. Barbara Pool's back. Are you still in Mexico, though? <laughs> so she's not back, back. Becky, Betsy, Brad's hat. in the chat. Watch out. He's probably going to cause some trouble. Carrie Griffiths, Charmaine, Christy, Darcy, Dana, Deb, Griffin, Joe, that's Rhonda, Helen, Jamie, Carla, Kathy, All right. Ketra. So I've been watching some of your videos. Her Ketra? name is Ketra. It's not Ketura. It's Ketra. Look at Ketra. me learning things. You don't pronounce the U at all, huh? I don't think so. I mean, that's what I heard when she said it. And I figure that people are going to say their name right. Mine's Mariah. It ain't Maria. <laughs> we call her Maria when we're just upset being with funny. Me. Mm -hmm. Linda, Lydia, Marguerite, Mary Ellen, Nancy Moore, hello. Naomi, Paula. We also know her as Paula. <laughs> She's a woman with two names. Panka. Raven's Peak, hello. I believe you have been here before. Rennie, Ricky Nordmeyer, S S O S. Sandy Franklin, Silver Granny, and her grumpy gnome, that's Lynn. Sonia Nelson, Star Trapper, that's Linda. Tina Schwanberg, Tracy LaBeouf, and Wendy H. Somebody else just popped in there or popped out. Sorry if I missed you. Wasn't on purpose. She, she oh, says, hey, Debbie. You can pronounce the U. I, I like both, but us Kansans. Like to do the draw. Oh, and Petra. Yeah, it's like Texan. <laughs> that makes sense. It's Kansan. It's Kansan. I thought it was going to be more like Eastern European kind of thing. Ketra. Like you would just be really short with it. Ketra. I'm going to say Ketra. I think she's okay with that. I think she is. Fantastic. See, Brad already causing trouble, letting y'all know that if you're part of the Artie Perks over here on the yeah. uh, PM Artist Studio channel, you can, you can play with all of those emojis. That's how you get those, and your name gets lit up. Yeah, and if you have a big enough screen, you can actually see what they are. I just see a bunch of little square things. Size matters. It certainly does. Okay, let's do some oh, announcements. Oh, it's in the Bible. Well, Mariah's name is in the Bible. Yeah, too. but and the different just, spelling, but yeah. yeah. And a Hebrew dis descent, but I love it. All Thank right. You. So, as I said, P has uh, thoughts on planning and procrastination. But before we talk about that, if you are not a part of the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group, you are missing out because that's where all the fun events happen and you get noted up about those fun events. I mean, you sort of get noted up here, but if you really want the details, it's over there. That's the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. Because we've got swaps, like the one that Becky has been heading up, which is the ATC swap. It's closed right now, but y'all that have, you know, next month get over got there. another chance. That's right. Next month got another chance. <laughs> also, the Misfit Scrap Swap that Rhonda has going on, that is also closed. But again, next month, I believe she'll be continuing that. The color combo that is put on by Paula Keen and Carrie Griffiths. Carrie Griffiths even put out his video and comboed it in with fresh 
switching it up. That's the Maker's Creative Collab. If y'all didn't know that, hashtag that, baby. You can go hashtag Freshen, and that's F-R-E-S-H, big N, it up. And then you could put the hashtag Makers Creative Club on that if you are a content creator and you can get all kinds of things crazy going on. You can also throw in those other hashtags for those other events and combo it all up for a big, you know, however, whatever kind of fecta you want. Trifecta, quadfecta, quintfecta, mm -hmm. you can do all five. You could. And then we have the Maker's Collage prompts. That's headed up by Eddie, and that's one of those ones that you can mix in there. And he also has a video out letting y'all know how he Put all those things together well not all those things but he did do the uh collab and all that how about that for some salesy promo kind of business those are the announcements thanks for listening ding dong ding <laughs> i had coffee today i feel better although let me let, let me tell you about this so we did, we get a call from the school yesterday right around noon Oh, yeah, and yesterday was my Costco day. Yeah, so she's gone. They're gone. And I was coming up here to tell you, hey, we're bringing the baby back. And then Brad's like, oh, yeah, they went to Costco. I'm like, oh, jeez. This is be real interesting. So the baby rolled her uh, ankle in P.E. And, I mean, this thing was just swollen and bruised. Like, pretty bad. She had to have lunch in the, you know, nurse's office and, uh-huh, hanging out with the other sick kid that was yeah, looking lovely. really poorly. I was like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> He's been puking. I'm like, oh, great. Oh, How like, close were you? Yeah. <laughs> they had a curtain between them. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, she stayed home today. We're all about, to yeah. be, you know, just like. And she's very much recovered. Yes. And boy, has she milked it. Yeah, she did. As much as she could. She's just a little, little milky, milky machine. All right, so that's the update on our family situation. Yeah, so that's why I have been getting nothing I done. I said you can do it on stream. That's part of work. This is how we do things. Okay. Do you want a thought? I'm going to thought. Just because do you want me to go top I, side while you thought? Or just pardon? Keep your screen here or do you want to show anything down there? No, I don't okay. want to show anything. I'm just It's just my chicken scratches here. And, um, okay. I'm lucky to read my own writing when I write this fast. Yeah, I know. I had trouble on your one list because I was like, she was writing fast. And, and I said that whenever I was reading it off. I was like, she's obviously... I mean, you know, most of the times I can read it and if there's not a large space of time in between when I wrote it and read it. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> high probability I can guess what it was. Okay, so, well, Mariah was talking about that. I just thought, you know, one of these ways that you can freshen up is you can drag out one of those procrastination projects. Mm -hmm that are in a bag and ta have been tagged and bagged and stored away in a... Thank you, Panka. Panka said my hair looks beautiful. I'm I know she, the comments. I know she Thank did. Thank you. She didn't tell me that. Yeah. Hi, Stacy May. Nobody told me that you were here. Sorry. And I'm looking back because I feel like I miss things. And then she always asked, you know, did anybody say anything about the jewelry or whatever? Oh, by the way, yeah. I'm wearing a heck of a lot of her jewelry today. Now, the bracelets are mine. They are not hers specifically. They were on my so wall. Now, oh, the cat the cat bracelets are mine for sure. The cat is because it's There's too two little. There's two cat bracelets. There's one with the cat dangle. And I don't like the cat dangle because it gets it. He gets does catch on things. He's a naughty little kitty. He, and he also drags through the paint. Yeah. So you can definitely keep those. Yes, freshen up is another way to say, um, you know, I'm going to finish up something that I started a long time ago. And here's the beauty of this. In the interim, between the time and when you started a project, you bag tagged and put it over yeah. yonder. That's how she rolls. That's how I roll. You've learned a whole lot of lot more stuff. Now I'm still waiting. Archie Pinko's still sitting over there. Judging. I move him about. I turn him around. I look at him. I think about him. Y'all remember Archie, and, right? <laughs> Some of y'all do. Yeah, he's the big gold dude sitting over there. You know, being judgy on the <laughs> shelf. Being all shiny and gold. Shiny and gold, and you can't <laughs> miss him. He's like a diamond in a you-know-what. Um, anywho, I'm, I'm just waiting for that moment when, because I know that's what's going to make it spectacular. I could, I could just jump in and finish it up right now, but I wouldn't have that intensity of feeling that mm. comes with something that you feel very strongly about because I think that's what the difference between crafting something and then really making it into 
something you have emotional connection to. Yeah. And I think sometimes, like, your emotional connection type thing is when you're very, like, really utilizing all of your craft. Bring it. You're doing those 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 me mental. What do you call those? You, where you make lists. Fluency. Mm. What in the creative problem solving process? Fluency is where you just start listing ideas. You don't judge or negate. Right. Anything. It's all you, you write it. Yeah. Write everything now. Yep. Yep. And that's what. Okay. Let me just read you what I wrote here. It'll make a lot more sense because I think this was a little more. Yeah. Rather than just, you know, off the top of my head. Yeah. All right. Planning or procrastinating. They are yeah. related. If I'm planning something, I want to think through aspects that might become problematic. Then that is a form of, well, let's wait and see. Or what if? It's a way of addressing problems, anticipating problems. A way of mentally playing with an outcome an imaginary audition of sorts where all where a variety of scenarios can be played out inside of your head. This is something I greatly enjoy doing. And I also do, you know, little funky little sketches. We like talking it out too. I and, and then we're like, dang it, we need a piece of paper. We we need a way to um you know uh record turn on record it. Yeah, we should record, record some of those sessions. Mentally manipulating, calculating an outcome, working through variables, and never losing sight of the what ifs, following a different path, playing in the puddles, can be full of fun and in the process may generate a whole new line of inquiry. Now here, this is what I want to say because a lot of like sticky notes. You know the glue that's on the back of sticky notes? Well, that was a failure. They were trying to come up with a glue. I don't know, just a different kind of glue. They came up with this glue that sort of was kind of sticky, but not really. And then somebody said, well, what, you know, if we put that in a little pad, and then you can just peel them off. Well, there you go. You just look at something, and it may not be what you want it to be right now. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what it can be because the need for it hasn't arisen yet. Right. So that's you what, you know, I have all these little things people so kindly send to me. And I just stuff stuff in them. And then periodically I will just, you know, go through them randomly and say, Oh, it's like the purple journal was down here underneath my desk. Just sitting there. Waiting. Sitting there waiting for, yeah. you know, whatever. Now. Cleaning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do that as a last resort. Ar archaeologically digging. Digging. <laughs> Done. Dug. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's just go over our list real quick here again, because I think we have new people. Oh, did you hear that? That was my neck. Oh, the, the list. Yeah. All right. So, I have been collecting, and when you go to Costco, you know, there's always a lot of packaging Involved. So was I, Eddie. Because you get things in big, bigger boxes, which I'm really, you know, I'm kind of really liking. And I used to really be excited about those frozen, frozen freezer boxes, but I, you don't use those anymore. Yeah. Because they have bad stuff in them. And I guess they can get away with that because the food inside is totally sealed and not touching. It's sealed up. That's what she said, that as long as, you know, you aren't disturbing it, it's fine. But... Yeah. You if don't you're want manipulating it manipulating and, and messing with it and touching mm -hmm. it and gluing it and that sort of thing. I, I would <laughs> I would say just stay away from that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mixed media checklist. Gel prints. Stencils, glued down, woven, H2O, cellular. That's just a type of gel print. Uh, small plate print overs, long haul exemplars, tissue paper, metallic paint, and scraffito. Those are all under gel printing. Those are all under gel printing. And I want to go down to modeling paste through stencils. All right. I think we're going to do some of that today because I guess what I have. She has new stencils. This is a new exclusive set from PM Artist Studio. Brad's been a very busy boy. 
It has been. Some of the stuff he actually kind of had, like, you know, waiting. And the thing about it is, is these come in big boys. Um, some of them. Some of them are stencils that you know and love already. Some are, um, some are new-ish. This one we have in yes. big form. This one. Uh, I mean, it's not the same size X's. Yeah, this our X's is are more uniform. That's new. This is totally new. I'm, I'm anxious to see. And that probably would come, like, later on might be a big boy. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, wh what I'm what I'm thinking here is when you do something like this and you do them together. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. You might have a really interesting result. This is very fine line, so it's not going to mask out a lot. Be a great That's what you want to think about when you're using this long one. haul. A Could little, be a great a, li a little long haul. A little long haul. Yippee ki yay! That I mean, you could even and then you could put it on to an ATC. Yeah. Brad's had these since, like, well before the beginning of the year, and he just, we've just been pushing them and pushing them and pushing them, and he's finally like, I'm getting the ATCs out. I'm like, okay. Now, Pay's supposed to use them. I'm supposed to use them. She better use them today. And I am going to use them today, and I'm probably not going to use them in, in the way that anybody... Oh, and Sandy's very excited about the modeling paste info. That's what she needs right now. Oh! Wonderful. Hello, Diane. I'm telling you, the modeling paste stuff is really oh, the way to go. All right, well, I just wanted you to know that what we're doing today is part of our checklist here. Hey, Anthony. So even though we're not attacking the actual accordion, accordion structure, and I'm going to tell you why. Hey, Sherry. Here in just a minute. And I, Hello, I think Carolina. You will see why. Yes. When you're doing the accordion journal, You've got to put it together before yes. you do anything. Okay? And there, it's there, there's tricky. The, the timing is very important <laughs> with the accordion. And let me tell you why that is. Because are you putting down panels? How are you putting them together? You know, there, there are questions that need to be answered before you really get into it. Because you're going to be like, oh crappy doodles you make a bunch of really cool panels well how are you going to put them together yeah you know and, and this is kind of where i am with my uh coaster <laughs> y'all remember the coasters and she's like look at what i found i was like oh my god i forgot about the coasters yeah she didn't finish that project either yeah i i, I tagged and bagged it <laughs> found it over here yeah and here's this one that <laughs> um what I, should i go pull with the other day you, yeah you, you probably should she's pulling and I, wanna, I do want that was my print Show them that. I'm going top side. Yeah. You don't? Yeah. Good. Show them my print. Yes. Yeah, well, I thought maybe you wanted to save it for Monday. No, show it. Turned out okay. It's not mind blowing. I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't hate it. And here, here's the thing. I think that this could, this could become something. Mm -hmm. Somebody's given it hearts and love. And mm -hmm. Lazima mm -hmm. art. Yeah. Oh, thank hey, you. Patty. We really appreciate that because like we do try to gussy up and change it up and you know whatnot. Well, especially ever since. Um, I mean, we've had quite a few of y'all say, "Oh, we get excited." Well, in that day that we had the camera thing, there was a big discussion about what we were wearing and all that. So we know that it, it, it adds to the excitement of you know the show. <laughs> yeah. E even though, yeah. And if it gets you here, hopefully then there's going to be enough going we'll on to here. keep you here. <laughs> and those of you that have come in, do say hello in the chat so we can oh, say hello yes. back. And don't forget, thumbsies up. There's only 31. Now, that's not probably true because I haven't refreshed my that's true. There's 60 browser we still, here. We still need some. Um, oh, my goodness. There's a software update. Don't do it. I'm not. Not in the middle of the stream. Not, I didn't. I mean, I just be. now saw it. It was probably up there, and I just didn't notice. Yeah. I was frantically trying to get uh -huh. hooked up to where we were. Yeah. Oh yeah, sixty-two. See, y'all are rocking it. And thank you the other day for all of those. I mean, I, I that I think that's the most thumbsies upsies I've ever received. What? Yesterday, or no, whatever day it was that I had one hundred and twenty-two. Yeah. We've been doing pretty good. Yeah, well, y'all have been doing an awesome job. All <laughs> right. Show up. Now, 
the reason I like these is no, Mariah. Did we have an ATC over there? Just show. We do her. happen to have some. I haven't done the little thing to the back, but okay. Well, these are um, and my part, my 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 swap partner. Swap partner. Thank you. In just a minute, and I'll tell you who it is. Words are hard. Words are hard. Uh, look at this. How? See, I have a little tab here for swap partners. My swap partner for the trading cards is Sherry Brown Lalonde. So, Sherry, these are for you. I'm going to get them in the mail as soon as Mariah. Hey, Melissa. Uh, all right, so here's, here's what I want to show you. Look at this. They are perfect. <laughs> oh, Patty, that's okay. Perfect. So, what we're going to do here, Mariah, do you care if we use your... No, print? go ahead. It was really started out as yours. And look how nice it looks with these. I might send this as just a little it's a extra. Um, okay, now, who who wants who wanted to know about this? Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, I'm not going to use this one. This is not a good one to use for... Texture paste. Texture paste. Much too open. It, open. It slides under those little lines. This is definitely one for either the long haul... Or while it's still in its virgin state, it will stay in place, and you can do a lot of really nice line work with this, where you put your paint down, mm -hmm. you put this down, you take the stuff off. Hey, and that one could be a really fun stencil, you know, like old school stencil style, like, you know, dabbing and... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Just add a little bit hither and yon. Mm -hmm. Okay, now see, these two would both be great, because the background is already the big dude, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, really, I wanted to work on my journal today, but I did not get to the part where I got, I, I'm going to take a piece of the craft paper. I'm going to fold it Just in the crap. size I want it to, because I've been t doing nanny granny stuff and, you know, keeping the baby alive so we could send her back to school in one Boinking, piece. Boinking, yes. Oh, and Lazima wants to know, why do not use two together? Why to not use two together? What do you mean? We need to two of the stencils together. I mean, can but um, okay. Got to layer. I it. think that no, that is a really and I did I I asked that question at one point myself. The problem is, is when you do this, you are creating a gap there. Yeah, and it's going to go under there, and you're not going to get it. Well, I really wanted to see <laughs> that way the gap. There's going to be a gap there. you got to mind the gap. And it's not, if you want, of course you can use two stencils. Just don't think that you can use them at the same time because yeah. it doesn't work worth diddly yeah, squat. Yeah. Okay? All right. So we've got this going on here. Now, at this point, if we want to, after we pull this print and we decide, oh, we would like to break up some of those circles and come in and print over that, this is what we can do. And that's what we very well may do. Okay, we've got stars. That's good. This might be a good one, too. Because these are both kind of, um, you know, circle-y. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's so good, but I do love this one. Mm -hmm. X's. I like X's, but I usually just block those out and do one row. But you don't have to. I really, I, I love this one. I love this one so much. It reminds me of, and if you wanted to have one stencil to put down on the top of a little box or something, mm -hmm. look at where you've got your little, um, those little points there, mm -hmm. where you could, they actually look like it's been tacked down. Mm. I think. I don't know. Good job, Brad. That, that's what I think when I see that. I, I think that's really cool. Yes. All right. We're not going to worry about, because um, we know we're going to lose some of this anyway. We'll just randomly cut these. Okay, Mariah, I'm going to hand you these back. And get them reasonably clean. It is like a, key, a Greek key design. All right. Now, what we can do here, and I, 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 
you can use your gel plate for things other than gel plating. And I, I just learned this recently. I'm, I'm a little slow sometimes. But um, they're wonderful to keep things in place that you don't want to be scooting about. Uh, Sherry would like to see your bracelet on your left arm, please. It's, um, it's, it's an old bracelet from Estes Park, Colorado. Really? Got it. A long time ago. Yeah. Is it silver? It's sandcast. Yes. Silver. I don't mm -hmm. wear it very often because I can't wear it with other bracelets. So yeah, much. and those cuff things, they slide around on me and then all of a sudden they're like, you know, halfway in a, in hanging off. In a place off. where, where yeah. they're sticky. I don't have that problem because I'm, I have a fat arm. Okay. <clears throat> now. We're going to put stencil, uh, we're going to put modeling paste over this. Hello, Ellen. And the reason we're going to do this right now is because hopefully it'll be dry. That's the other thing. You have to let this dry. Now, we could also use stencil butter. Yes, which would dry faster. Would dry much faster. Stencil butter might be real fancy on there. It might be real fancy. So Now, Sandy, let us know, were you specifically interested in texture paste or are you just, you know, in all things that create texture and whatever? Uh, when we make ATCs, what do we start with cardboard? Um, everything? It just depends just what we have. What I used the <laughs> other day to stiffen up the back is, is the old Christmas cards. We have a box of old, uh, they're, what do you call them, planks? planks. I don't know why you call that. Um, no, they're the uh, postcards. Postcard. See? Years ago, I just really was sure that everybody was going to be in love with these and, and want to buy them. But they weren't. <laughs> and then they screwed up the print job, and so we had double the amount. And there was dust on that. Don't judge me. It's her fault. I had a baby. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that time. <laughs> Shortly, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah before, uh, yeah, yeah. She she was. Uh, but these things are uh, they they are actually what's called trifecta paper, which means they basically glued three pieces of kind of lighter weight cardstock together to make a very heavier. And the nice thing about it is the way that they did it. It they they don't warp. Yeah, because this stuff is like. I, and I, I really, I, I love it backing the cards. I, I'm going to be very sad when we... Uh, well, it won't be anytime soon. And I, we yeah. could order more. Or, no, this you know, is true. We could make up some... You know what would be cool is if we just made up some, like, cool backgrounds. And I we did a whole little... What happened to the little journal that was made from um, business cards? Don't we have a journal that we made from business cards? Yeah. That whole set of my ones in a box. Yeah. That's what we use. Yeah. And he said, she had a baby, y'all. <laughs> uh, let me tell you what she is. Talk about, she's modeled uh, manipulative behavior all this time. So Izzy says, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sandy, mm -hmm. I use playing cards or cardstock. Sometimes yeah. a cereal box. Yeah, you can use anything. Fancy feet boxes work well, too, Eddie says. I don't know. Those of oh, you that are cat owners and oh, fancy yeah. feast feeders. Absolutely. For hydrogen, perox hydrogen peroxide. You've got a panel on the side there. They work great. Plastic. She's been using hers to swatch paint. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you... they do need a bit of sanding. All right, hey. Yeah, okay. Put, put down some stencil I'm butter. just reading all this. Yes, mine are ultra heavy and well, stand and then, up to watercolor paint. Oh, I gave I gave both butter and paste and want to know how best to use both. Well, there you go. All right. Well, we'll uh, what we'll do is we'll paste one and butter the other. Love it. Look at us. Comparing Turn things. it up. All right. We're, we've got an option here. Well, actually, we've got a lot, but I, I'm, I'm leaning towards this. Or this. I think the the more the champagne one, not the no, I, one. not I've got, I've got one more here. Because oh, Wendy. see, these are oh, yeah. all slightly. You think those are the same when mm -hmm. they're opposite ends of the thing there, but they're not. No. 
they're different. So, what do you think, Mariah? This is your call, because it's your... Well, I like the first two the best, but I think that the middle's going to make the most, you know, the best Have impact. the best, okay. Oh, my. Have to have you... Oh, yeah. Oh, For goodness, some... Diane. What? She's trying to get the courage up to go run errands. It's negative four. Oh, I say Celsius. wait till tomorrow. Very windy. Yeah. Order from Amazon. Make them do the... Yeah, get get out in the weather. Oh. It's actually very nice here today. But it really because is. of all the crazy wind blowing, um, I, I've definitely been having some allergy things happening <clears throat> to my face. Well, I'm, I'm my having... My eyeballs. Waking up in the middle of the night, you know, strangling on... Okay, now, this, Sandy, are you watching? Paying attention here, girl. Thank you, Mo. Hey, Mo. You want to make sure on this first round, and do you see what's happening here? It's boing, 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 boing. It's a okay. boinger. It's a boinger. And that's important because you need to be careful running your implement over the top of it because it you can have some boinging things that you really didn't want and hopefully we're not going to do that I'm just gently pressing on that first run did you see that how that moved there and the reason you have to use a lot more and, and see how nice this is when I don't have to worry about my paper moving because it's sucked down onto the gel plate I know that that problem is right there so I am being very Ooh. careful And that initial, you know, swish of product down it's, helps hold it. It does. And it's really important. And you don't want to rush this. There's no, no big okay. hurry. The stencil butter stuff is very forgiving. And it's very, uh, you, you don't have to worry about your time here. So you just gently move it around. I've got a hair out there, but that's all right. It's just going to have to stay. Hey, your lawn was... She, uh -oh. Devin, Devin Rex. Now, she was doing, see she what was happened there. right there? Okay, I can take care of that right now. Or I can wait until I pull it up. But since I'm, I've noticed it, uh -huh. a lot yeah. of times I don't even notice it. Deal with it. It's just best to deal with it because then you don't have to worry about rubbing your... We should also show how to extend the border. Um, yeah. With tape. With tape. You know, that kind of tape that doesn't really tape mm -hmm. works great for extending. Yeah. So I have a little bit more of a area to put that down and then pull it across. But the reason these are like this is because you can get the full set yep. out of one piece, or two pieces. One one piece yep. of Yupo. So we set okay. a nine. Now, when you're getting ready to pull this up, this is important also. Get that off of there and get that. You you want to go ahead and close this up ASAP. Oh, look at that. See all that crusty business going on there? Yeah. Blow it back and clean it up another day. Okay. One finger needs to hold it in place while the other is pulling it up. Because this is where you can really have some oopsie doopsies. Look at that. Yeah, and you can just come and wipe that one little edge up oh, there. Oh, yeah, we've got two little edges, actually. Oh, you do tap two little edges there. Okay. One little edge. Gently. And, you know, because we this is has gold in it anyway that's not you know probably and we'll probably cut that off anyway yeah but let's just say we wanted to use the whole thing for say a card yeah there you go there you go now get after that yeah stencil. I know I need to so it either needs to go in the wash or well it... well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it here on my um and I need to be careful because of my pointy things going on there you're pointy I pointy. don't want to tear up my stencil. I'll let y'all see what she's doing. Don't make any good faces. 
I don't have you up right now. I'm showing because that you're you're exactly behind your head. Whenever you I'm know, exactly behind my head, that area of the oh. Well, I'll, I'll show them when I get finished. Don't forget to wipe up the back because that's where it may have seeped through. And then if it seeps through, all it's doing is it's just increasing the area that's going to be raised and cause problems later on. Mm -hmm. How do I know all this? Because I've done all that. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's nice butter we'll just scrape most of that off and it'll become a lovely just a little something 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 for brown. later <laughs> yeah. yes you wipe the stencils behind and then you take it and put it in a little bath of water if you yeah now you can but i really i think this is fine okay. I, I don't have any large areas there that i'm going to be worried about all right but this next little jobber you want to get that in to a water bath and I don't ever put it down the sink I flush it down the toilet because you have to remember it sets up solid and you don't want to be clogging up your sink in some places you're not even allowed to do all that business I bought her this other thing that she's supposed to be but normally what she does is pours it into tissue paper and stuff like that and yeah. it just puts it in trash and I don't know why I don't have a spot for that now that's not overlapping but oh well We don't care what mm -hmm. size our, our thing is right now. We're just getting something to put down here so it holds it in place and we don't have to yeah. scoot it about the cabinet. <clears throat> okay, and this is the other thing. You can get it really nice and flat. <clears throat> I, I can't say enough how, how cool this is that I learned this. And I really didn't, it, it was just an accident because I was in a hurry and I, I just put some a stencil down on there after I flipped it off because I... I wanted to get it down and I wanted to get it done. And I thought, well, why haven't I done that before? That's just silly. No, silly. So Y'all. You know. All right, excuse me, I have to move some of my wonderful little. Yes, a fine strainer. And I bought her this, like, it's just still sitting over there in the box. She has a whole, like, you know, little system that'll. supposed to. Huh. Filter and do all that. I knew I had some of that stuff. Well, there it was. I'll just put that over here with my little pieces of sorry silk. Uh, one of the other things you can do, like if you are putting it in your sink, which I really, really just do not recommend, but um, coffee filters. I've done that before. Yeah. Catch all yeah, this. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it. Doesn't catch it all, but. And then kind of let it just drain out, and then you can throw that part away. Okay, I like to get a pretty good gob going here, just simply because that first, that first uh, pass is important. I want to keep this stuff closed up. Yeah, it does dry out. Yes. And the reason the first pass is important is because, remember, we've got lots of little boingers here. Yes. So we want to get the boingers to not be boinging. Yeah, those big ones, like if you get the big industrial ones, like it almost fills the whole sink, which is great. And <laughs> it's the back side. You're not pressing hard. You're just pressing enough to get it to... And see, even... I can keep moving this about. I probably have enough out here. Yeah. But, actually, it's better if you just come back and get a little bit more. You, you may waste a little paste. But, scraping over the top of those yeah, is you're just gonna asking it, for it. Yeah, you're going to pull it back. You'll catch them, and then they'll pull back, and then that's when things go awry. Yes, and that that's what causes those uh, under printings. Oop. And you can feel it when it, it hits those little jobbers. Yay. <laughs> Dog hair, cat hair, human hair, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some kind of hairy stuff out there. Not going to worry about it. It's going to pull up because it's crossed the... Okay, again, 
hold down one side, pull up the other, and pull it straight up. Yep. Voila. One little, two little spots went through, but overall. Ooh, yeah, I see that. You did good. Um. Oh, she's going to try to. Oh. I, I don't know. These little funny, funny little brushes that are still kind of stiff. Mm-hmm. I think Maxine sent us those. Hey, Maxine. Well, I don't know if she's here. She hasn't been here in a little while. I still see her over Makers. Okay. Yes, it is the light and fluffy. And hello, Betsy. If I didn't say hello earlier. I think I did. Um, that's not working very well. I, I wished I had a, um, toothpick. I do have a toothpick. Right we here. have the poke tool. Well, it just doesn't, it's not quite the same. Toothpick works the best. No way. And like I, old school toothpick or like, you know, party? Old fashioned. No, that's party. That's a... This is very exacting work. Sometimes she can be, you know, particular. Okay. Now you see what I'm talking. Both of the areas where that happened were where you had, where I came across it the wrong way. You should always, go, and, and it's, it's really hard in these where all of a sudden you're going perpendicular here, and then you run into this and you're parallel. Yeah. That's what creates those little... Hey, I think you need to leave alone because you're just I, I think playing so, with fire. I, I am. And these cute little brushes. This. Izzy loves those. All right, now, yeah, she we need to do them. something with this. It's just barely. Uh, okay. I just grab a... This is good. Uh, thanks, Bo. Yeah, there's a link. There's our affiliate link to the um, most wonderful light and fluffy modeling paste there in the chat. Mo has dropped that in. Mo is cookie wookie. And uh, any uh, anytime you guys use those affiliate links, we very much appreciate it. We know you don't have to. And, it, you know, we do get a little Well, look at that. It. I got an absolute perfect one. Yeah, you did. That's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes. Strip poker. I, I don't even know how to play poker. Uh, Mariah is PM artist. Uh, yes, that is what is written on the top of that baron. So what I had done is we cut out some Upo PM artist do your little circles, little logos, and then we, well, we P painted or you know put them on the jump plate and let the paint kind of build up and stuff, and then we picked out which one kind of looked the best and she liked the most sent it off to Anthony and then when he was making her barren he inlaid it Isn't that cool wasn't that sweet I thought it was very sweet of Mariah to do that now I'm not even going to waste that I'm going to take and I'm going to take my my paper towel but or my paper towel my wet wet wipe here wipe down this and I'm going to use this get the here. rest of it because there's more on there it sticks and I'm going to send this away yes I'll put it in the little bath and then soak it off but there's going to be some there but I have used almost every bit of that paste that I got out of there for it hides out in those little crevices and you want to make sure that you get that off of there because it builds up and it will then if you want to use it for paint yes. or whatever the next time it just sticks right. to it Right there, can you see how it's already building up there? All right, I'm going to give you that, Mariah. Okay. I shall be right back. Okay, and you know this is this is looking really cool. I mean, this can actually become a page in the journal because this is, has this on this side, and I will show you when this dries, and hopefully it's going to do so in the next. When you put it on on thin enough, and it's very thin here, it's going to dry really fast. 
and then you can overprint it on your gel plate and you're going to get two wonderful things that are happening. You're going to leave an impression behind from your paste and then you're going to have, this is going to look completely different once it's overprinted with uh, another color. Yeah, Zandias is helping you. Do you have more questions, less questions? Thank you, Tutu. Yes, keep your crevices clean. It's very important. I like this piece of paper very much. All right, I have to put my toothpick back because I don't have that many over here. Like, that's your art toothpick? That's my art toothpick. <laughs> no, All right. Not for picking the teeth. Put the lid on this for now. And I do have another hole. Um, I, I just need to use all of that first. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, and hello, before we you. take this away, because I think that this is looking really cool I here. I love that piece. And we've got all this stuff out here. And we can continue on with our um, doing a little. I really do take a minute to figure this out. And if you run your fingers over it, you can figure out which side is the um, needs to be the downside. Okay, let's get some. Let's yes. use some seashell stencil butter. This is the white stuff. Oh, I got it's right there, and yes, no, I, I had to fill up the. Anna. Usually, we use like this one little pastry pan thing. But I didn't see it in there this time, so I just used one of her yogurt. Okay, we're, we're going for contrast here. <laughs> but yeah, usually there's a little bucket right And this could become an ATC. I want to get some of that turquoise in there, but I don't want to leave a corner that just looks, you know. Oh, one of the best ways to color the stencil paste, like if you want to pre-color it, is to use the... Um, any of the high flow or fluid acrylics because they're pretty highly pigmented and they'll color like you don't have to use a bunch of product in order to get the color you want all right i'm just debating because i figure i'm going to use this anyway is to go ahead and cut it because it's really hard for me to put on my shelf over here if I leave this all together. And you are going to waste some of it, but you know. Yeah. Say la vie. Now, these two are really close, but I really. I, I'm, I'm just thinking that this is going to have more visual impact because of the contrast. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, hello to Emmett and Cedric as well. <laughs> that one swipe right down the middle to get your paper to stay where it, or your stencil to stay where it needs. And remember, you've got lots of poingers here, possible poingers. So you do want to be very careful. Really? That one's pointy? Yeah, because that right there, mm -hmm. I'm going across it rather than with it. Yeah. It's not, I guess, pointy, it, it's probably not pointy, but it certainly can catch. catch your thing and lift it up for a sec. And that's why I'm trying, did you see how it did that mm -hmm. on that edge? I hope that wasn't a, an oopsie. But this does require a bit of patience. <laughs> and Eleni. Uh, is it Eleni? Eleni. I think it's Eleni. Uh, says that these prints with stenciling are totally qualifying for freshen it up business. For what? For the freshen it up. Oh, yeah. For sure. And I, you, you just can't help but waste a little bit of your product. But you've noticed I really try not to. Mm -hmm. I'm just barely, barely, barely touching the surface. Just kind of evening it all out. 
the rest back in the thing and I just yeah you don't want to leave too much there's just a fine little line of you can kind of leave a bit on the surface there but you don't want to leave too much because when you pull it up it's gonna kind of like flop over yeah and then and I, I have had that happen okay again hold one side pull up gently and mm. voila. that's really cool looking and because it's shimmery once it really dries I think it's gonna look really cool now this can be done or it cannot be done you can then go back over it with other things once it's dried and it becomes mm -hmm. you know something else okay we're gonna set this over here Hopefully I don't put my elbow in it. And we're going to get this back down here because I think that we can still get some stuff going on here. Lots of love on that one. And Darcy, if you're here, you're being... Well, I was really happy to see the these chat. come up because I was going to have to take you through the whole, my whole sketching phase of, of the... She might be listening of the book and that wasn't going to be all that interesting this mm -hmm. is much more interesting but i you know I, I i pretty much used up all the stencils that oh yeah i can't remember the artist's name but um if you google it there's like yeah. a whole wikipedia and um yep she was listening good um so for um for the person for the artist that created like started the whole atc thing oh i don't know that person either i post i think it's been posted I know I looked it up once. I don't know if I actually posted it or not. Now, you might, and, and this, is, this is kind of, you know, it's not that much there. But it's something. But it is something, and it's in that dark area right there, so that you can work with the rest of this and, you know, come in with something else. That's going to dry rather quickly. Mm -hmm. And this um, stencil, I am going to go ahead and give it a bit of a... Just make sure on your edges, because a lot of times it will clump up on the edges. Don't forget to turn it over and clean its little bottom side also. Because some may have squished through there, and you don't want that to happen. Especially on these ones that, yeah. see that, so that little bit right there? Those are going to clo close up. Yeah, here, I'll put it in the water. Rather rapidly. Rather rapidly. Rather rapidly. Okay, we've got still got another nice piece here. I'm going to put this... This is so cool. Look when you hold, can you see what I'm talking about? How it, because of the directionality, it, it's almost like. It's an optical illusion. Yeah. Illusion. And it's not really showing up. In the, are you optically eluded? It just looks like the ones that are going this way are fatter than the ones going the opposite way. See what I mean? We came up, like, all of this ATC, um, even journal making, all of that was very new to it. Like, we'd never heard of any of that until we started posting online and stuff and trying to find art groups. <laughs> okay. Yes, a Swiss artist created the ATC. That I kind of remember too, yes. Anybody that wants to drop in his name. Who? Oh. Hi, Lizima, thanks for hanging. Those of you that have come in, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. If you have been hanging out and having a good time, give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are about to hit our 8,000 subscribers. And guess what? We're going to have a big old 8K parte. It might be a little bit further after the 8K parte because she's going through all of her things. We want her to go through all of her things because it's going to mean that the packets are even bigger and more fun. If you want to be in included in those drawings, the First way that you can do that is by coming back here on one of these videos last, oh, I think four, maybe this is the fifth one. I can't really remember exactly. I've got to go back and make sure I need to start pulling those links. Anyways, you need to leave a comment down below and just say, hey, love the video, want to be entered. Um, that'll get you entered because really I'm going to pull from all of the comments in the each video. That's how that's going to work. And then on the 8K Parte Day... We will also do some giveaways to those of you that show up to the live stream because we love to not only love on y'all that watch the replays, but we definitely love to love on y'all that show up each and every time. 
we're going to try something. And, and I, and the, mm. the big trick here is going to be not contaminating. So I've got two palette knives out here. Oh. I know. Things are getting serious, y'all. Things are getting serious here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I've got two palette knives, one for each color. Mm -hmm. Now, I hope that it's going to overlap ever so slightly there in the middle. I don't want it overlapping in my jar. Because even though I do have jars that that's happened to, it doesn't make me really happy. And inadvertently, sometimes it does happen. But we like for it not to. Okay. So... We're going to take, oop, see that's already moving on me. <laughs> it's about to get real. She's got two palette knives. <laughs> two butters. She's on brain. I did not like that. That may have caused some issues. That could have, but it may not have. It doesn't always. Those little points want to yes. snag up there. Okay. Don't push your luck. I'm not pushing my luck. Opposite corner. Ooh. Now, I don't know that I love, love your color choice, but I love what you did. Because that, that blue plus that other blue, I don't know. It, like, you it's don't? in there, but I just I don't like well, the one blue see, on the I other side. I missed that point right there. Well, we're not going to take points off for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to clean. Hey, that was better than my clog joke the other day. <laughs> I was admonished about how bad that was, <laughs> which I agree. So okay. Sometimes they land flat. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, this is going to be problematic in that uh, the scrubby part of this process here. Yeah. Um, let's try something. Let's try this. Now, you, you know, only do something like this with a brush that you do not care about. One that's just like, you know, you just use it for the glue or whatever. Yeah, you want to put kind of a stiff, stiffer. This is, requires a stiffer. Bye, Trish. Thanks for hanging. Okay, I'm liking this. This is this is working well. And I, you know, even though it's not going to be an actual stencil butter, uh, you know. Up no, it's you don't have loft. Loft. You're not going to have loft, but you do have some, you know, lovely things going on there. Right. What? <coughs> Take them where I can get them. That's what Dancy says. Yeah, okay. And now we've got a reasonably, I, I always have a. That is exactly right, Rhonda. She says, even if it blurbs out, you can fix it with pens or paint or colored pencils to match the background. It can always be altered. R remedied. Yes. Or, um, you know, like a little buff out, a little, little hidey. Okay, so I like the brush technique over the um, pulling the palette knife back across there. If you clean these up each time, you're not going to have that mess that I had on my gold over there. Which, um, you know, this one has all the crusties mm -hmm. around the rim. If you go ahead and just take the time to push get these in. guys, push, push it back into the jar and clean off that edge there ever so slightly. Now, see, I'm not wasting much product there. But Keep those savory. cleaned up. Number one, they're going to seal better. And number two, you're not yeah. going to have that crusty stuff falling off onto your gel plate when you least yeah. want that to happen. And I'm just going to, I'm, I'm kind of more or less dabbing this. Mm -hmm. I'm not rubbing because I do not want to, um, when you have those <laughs> those points out there. Uh, Eddie says, be prepared to alter your plans or F-ups. And that's for fun things. Yes. The F is for fun things that you have made. Fun things. Fun things. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So we've got this little jobber here, which I think this is, you know, I mean, it's interesting. I'm going to address a technical thing real quick. Because, okay, so Mary Ellen, um, some streams, like Eddie was having this problem during the stream thought, 
some streams he was able to chat in and some he wasn't. We haven't really totally figured it out. We did Google search some things and pretty much it's just something that happens and like they know about it and that's about all I can tell you with it and there's no really rhyme or reason to, to why sometimes in certain streams you can't chat. It's very weird. And it's nothing that like we have set or we have, you know, we're not blocking anybody or any of that. It's just some weird YouTube thing. Yes. Well, sometimes, <laughs> and I've always just thought it was me because I'm, you know, my expertise. You, you felt in, it was a, a user error? A user error. <laughs> I, I mean, I always assume that because I don't know crap about uh -huh. most things. Um, I would have trouble, you know, scrolling sometimes. Because my thing's oh, uh, off somewhere else. Michelle wants to know what color was the blue stencil butter? Hmm. Very good question because it's yeah. very pretty. Sea glass. Love that color. I know. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Now we're going to go with gamboge here on this mm -hmm. one. Oh, Just because really? I really think. And y'all, I really planned on working on the journal today. I really did. But you have to understand. It's There's like no someone said. Life gets in the way. We had a baby with a rolled ankle, and we needed her and very because needy. we've been dealing with some other things that have just, you know, life happens in the office and this, that, the other, and, you know, we've got to take care of that, and she, uh, she's up. <laughs> yeah, do all your your people know? Uh, we're just going to kind of let it roll out for a while, and then we might do a big update okay. to okay. people and things. But all right, now see, here's what I'm talking about, what's happened there. I need to be really careful if I want this to be... Bye, Debbie. Hope to see you back. Me, um, yeah, I know she's working, right? And she's uh, taking time out of her work to. Ah, uh, no, I don't know what Debbie's doing because it's like is really this early. Deb C? No, this is De one of her other Debbie Booneyard. She's in Australia. Oh, so it's very early ish, I think there, right? Or very late ish. No, late ish is when we have the early one. <laughs> so she's like a really early. Yeah, I'm I assuming. Know. All right, now again, you have to watch your little pointy. This is kind of like stars. And I didn't put this down on up because I want to keep this all together here for a little bit. By the way, I don't agree with this use of this color. Well, duly noted. Okay. Just... <laughs> She's going to go have a shower. Oh. If you really must. <laughs> Inquiry in mind. And people, people are saying, well, bring us along. <laughs> I know, I really wish I did have like a, a waterproof kind of, you know, iPad type screen or something in the shower sometimes. You know, considering that this was just a brayer off to begin with, I think this is quite remarkable. <laughs> Deb sees this, so she's back. So lose one Deb, get another. Oh. <laughs> one Deb's in. They're tagging. Let's see now. <laughs> Tag team in it. Yeah, she says, okay, one's taking a shower. From right. Australia to California. <laughs> I, I'm just going to do what um, somebody suggested and buff those little areas out. But look at that. Look how cool that looks. Other than the color, yes. Oh, BS. That's it's complimentary. Bolt's okay, not. put that up there for right now because I don't want to deal with it. It is. It's just a little too... I, I think that you could have kept it a little more classy. What is it? Keep it classy, Cincinnati. Was that? What was that from? Is that a movie? Well, Anchorman, maybe. I, I, I. That's where my brain went for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Bright sunshine. That's right. F is for fun, and B S is for bright sunshine, because that's what we're giving out each and every day. If you believe that and really, you know, want to be a part of all that bright sunshine, be sure to give those thumbsy upsies. I always said it. To the it was. It stood already. for bull snot. Yeah, that's how that's on the other side of the thing there. Yeah. It's bright sunshine over here. I like it. Thank you, Eddie. He's the leader of the nerd. He knows about bright sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> I know about blowing snow smoke snow, up. Snow up annual, the annular <laughs> orifices. Orifices. <laughs> oh my golly. And Debbie says bright sunshine with purples and gold yellow, the colors of a sunset. You go, Queen P. Thank you, dear. I'm I'm just 
fussing about here trying to get this product off on this lovely um, brayer off thing that doesn't have any brayer offing. It's just got it stenciling was. offs. Stenciling offs. Stenciling offs here. And you'll see what a lovely, mm -hmm. nice, sunshiny yellow it is now. That yellow does stick around though, for yeah, real. Yeah, it does. It, it do. Yeah, it's got some. But my, my thing over here is looking really nice and sometimes I kind of, you know, if We'd I We'd love to see your thing. You want to show us your thing? Oh, here's the thing. I'll show you my thing. And, you know, just kind of... I don't of, know why she stretches over there like... I, I don't, I don't, but you know what I do like to do is get those, because those dead gum corners, corners. are always popping up white and, you know, just glaring just, at me. Just your corners when you can. Just thumbing, thumbing their nose at me saying, <laughs> I thought you had us covered there, <laughs> didn't you? Not with nay, that. Nay, 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 nay. Okay, but now look at that. How good that's looking. It's fantastic. I know, I'm... I'm for just about. It. I'm going to turn around here so I can work on this other side. I've got two brayers over here, none either of which I've used today. Yeah, okay, you know, let's. Um, on hand. Let's. Um, we've got another nice piece of mm. glowy paper here. Let's look at what we've got stenciled by it. That might be interesting. It might be. Well, I'm not really feeling mm -mm. that. A little too big for. I think so. And I think that is two. All right, well, let's work on these two. Oh, you're going to, are you going to tempt the butter with that? Oh, no, I'm not buttering this. We're going to, um, we're going to gel plate that. Okay. We may gel plate these others, too, just okay. for chuckles and grins. Chuckles and giggles. But I, I want, I want to do a, I want to do a, um, I need to have you um, patch up my jeans. I just, yeah. yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll make a list. <laughs> we can swap we can, lists. We can negotiate. Yeah, we can. Okay, so, <laughs> so you can I'll see I've got a little piece of paper. Three over. or four different colors of <laughs> blue going here. So I'm leaning more towards the green. But we do not mind that. These are contaminated they are because con she got a little lazy and didn't want to use her two sp two spackle knives things, you know. What do you call them? Things? Blah, 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 yeah, so, blah. I was know, in a hurry. She was. I, I probably had, you know, places to go and people to see. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I really want to concentrate any more paint. on this area where it's really gold. And and I because I of the contrast that I've got going here. And remember... We can all, this is a little bit larger than your ATC, right, Mariah? Hand me those back again. Let's do a quick. Uh, well, the outer part is, yes. I believe. Okay, so see, yeah. here we go. That inner part is almost exactly where we need to be for an ATC. Now, that isn't always the case with each and every one. No. It just sort of depends. Like, we kind of gauge that on, all right, well, you know, this, you might want this to run the whole card. Yeah. And I want to get it in there enough that I'm not getting little weird pieces from the edges. Okay, so we've already got hey, some ombre stuff going on here inadvertently. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you just have to take it for yes. what it is. And, and I think for this particular instance, this color is just going to be spot on. Yeah, it's better than the blue blue. Yes. It needed to be so I, I, I am not crazy about this blue. I'm not crazy about the green. But when you put the green and the blue together, you have a muy simpatico color. Well, and the nice thing about, like, the straight up, like, primary and secondary kind of colors in the stencil butter is that they are nice to mix. They are. That's what and she's that, saying. That yellow, I, I, I'm pretty sure I have a little bit of yellow in here. When I was mussing about with this. Oh, you were going to extend the frame. Yes, we need to show them on one of those. What? With the with the washi tape. How to extend the frame. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, that, that's... I mean, it doesn't take them a no. second or so. That's awesome. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's good stuff. That's a good color. 
So basically, again, what had happened there is on the edge of the stencil, but the blue stencil butter, she had mixed some stuff prior, and we think that it was the the bright green. You know, this is just like everything else I do in life. I always go the wrong way. I know every time when I tell you come this way, and then you're like, Whoof. I'm like, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna put that up yonder, and I'm going to um the the cut out themselves like the size is three by four ATCs are two and a half by three and a half yeah hello Lisa Mingus It says wrong way, Corrigan. My gram was like that. <laughs> it, it, I, 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 you know, when I tell people that I, I'm, I'm spatially challenged, I, I'm not being she is. facetious. And the more sure she is about directions, the more sure you should be not to follow yeah. them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We had this thing in, in when we were in, in Seattle, and I was absolutely sure. And I was like, no. And I and she just gave in to me, and, and we w walked a whole lot further than we needed to by the time we got to where we needed to go. I said, we, we've gone the way that you wanted to. Are you ready to go back the right way? <laughs> just get me home. <laughs> and, I, and it was right. You know, I was still recovering from my you knee were with surgery. Your cane. I was still had a cane. And I walked up and down you, the hills of San San Francisco. Of <laughs> did kind of feel Seattle. That, one, that, that one hill was. Like oh that. my goodness! It was a bugger bear. Remember? Yes. I had to sit down about halfway through and have a little rest over. Now, when you get ready, you know to go ahead and and okay. Now, see what happened there. That once I do this and start getting this really loosened up and really fluid, it goes through there and it's going to mess around and going to cover up the back. So what I need to do is I need to turn it over and make sure that I go ahead and clean up that back side. And the staining of the stencil isn't necessarily a big deal. It's just you really don't want product down inside of the yes. orifices. Yes, and if that is happening, you need to take it in, put it down on your plexiglass I love and give it a rub too. rub rub isn't that a pretty robin's egg blue it is all right all right now we need to show you what to do too and that might this might be a good one because it, it doesn't it's kind of slim pickings there on the edge okay wipe off your palette knife you'll be happy you did that later when you Need to grab one. Yeah, quickly. we're really close. Like 13 away, I think. Something like that. 12 or 13. What is it? From our 8,000. Serious. Uh huh. Very exciting times, man. Okay. Susan now. got lost in Seattle once, too. She ended up in the industrial area. I think that kind of happened to us once as well. Like when we we always a end up down. in the wrong part of town. Yeah. Never, it never fails. It's kind of like we always scoped out where the hospital was when we moved because we knew Nathan would be going there. Yeah. All right. Now, you can use, and I, I don't know, I probably shouldn't. Do you have any icky, icky tape? That oh, you just don't? use, no, just use just that use one. It. I'm just, I'm so over loving on pretty washi tape. It's a problem. Yeah. I know some of y'all suffer from it, too. It's like saving the fancy dishes. Why are we doing that? Why? Well, <laughs> what, we don't what anymore. What grand right? dinner party are we having? Yeah, when, when, okay, you know. you're getting a little close to the edges of the moon thingies there. There you go. I think. Okay. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. I meant to say that in the... I meant to put that on my list of my announcements. Our um, interview with Fran will be this Sunday. Because she didn't want to do, like, the late one because it's really late there. It's like, you know, 10 or 11. Yeah, but even though she is a hoot owl, I know she is. Yeah. She's hooting when I, I'm hooting, too, sometimes. <laughs> Hello, 
Sharon. Hello to all those of you that are coming in. I'm glad that you're saying hello in the chat. Anybody else? All right. Hello? Now, here, here's the dealio. If you're going to use this right away and you don't really care about that, you can just go ahead and do the other side okay but if you need this to be your sticky surface you need to stick it down temporary sticky surface then my only thing about that is I've had really bad results with this because it will pull up and then it will suck back down and when it does it doesn't go back in the same place on your stencil yeah that's the problem so that's the problem the best thing to do is just to go ahead, if you want to do this, and just tape it off so that you don't have anything sticking down and you can put it on your gel plate. The, yes, it will be live during the Sunday, this Sunday stream. We will be interviewing Fran on the Edge. I'm going to ask her all kinds of really, you know, like, nosy-ass questions. She can handle it. She can. Well, you know, if, if you use it enough, that gold stuff does start to flake off, and it becomes less of an issue. What gold stuff? <laughs> On the fancy china. <laughs> It, does, yeah. it washes off after a while. Yeah, if you, especially if you put if it... If you just stop using it for fancy things, yeah. and just run it through the dishwasher, it's fine. Yeah, scrub the crap out of it. You know, leave some eggs on Grunch it. Grunch it up. Grunch it up. <laughs> leave some eggs on it overnight, and you can really get after it with that, you know... It really helps ex that get metal. that shiny stuff <laughs> off. Don't have to worry about burning out your microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. I know, Sonia. She, she says she's happy. Like, the art part of her life is what's kind of keeping her busy and not too obsessed about losing her fur baby. Oh. I don't know. And I told her. I said, that, you know, I get it. I mean, it was funny. Brad's parents came over the other day, and they're like, oh, just keep looking for Mazzy. <laughs> and, and I thought that was kind of funny because, I mean, they don't. I just All right, there we go. That's how you extend the edges. It's how you extend the edges and don't have over, over overages on here. Yep. And also, the other thing that I do sometimes, I told you that on the X's, I probably would just mask out. Where's my X's? I could, you can just mask out like a row or two rows. You know, just temporarily, mm -hmm. if that's, you know, all you want to do. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, this might be kind of interesting. Do some moons over the top of them. And these are flat enough. I mean, I, I might have a little bit of a oopsie doopsie. On, on this where it's crossing over. And remember somebody asked about using two stencils. Well, this is, this is where you could do that. Right. And still have... Um, oh, how, how far are we from Lubbock? Uh, about six hours? Oh, it's not as far as Friona, but... Almost. Kind of depends on the route. Yeah. Five to six hours. Who wants to know that? Uh, Sherry. Well, somebody lives in Lubbock? I think she might. Um, Patty, oh. email me. And then That's I, where I, I will. got my art degree. But I didn't Texas see Pat. it. Okay, now, um... I don't really want that. Oh. To... What? Uh, Robin, uh, all the all the rain and melted snow this week has mildly flooded her basement where her studio is. The carpet is all wet. And oh, she's bummer. afraid to go down and look. But yes, be careful when you do go down and look. It's going to be wet and ooky. And... 
That's a bummer. Oh, that's good. She has most of her stuff in plastic, so. Now, see, this is where you could, when you've got that edge that you've just added on there, it's Ooh. really helpful. Now, you did blurb out on one. You did blurb out on one. But I think that's okay. Now, do I want any of this on here? I don't think so. Let's see what else I've got back here. Well, not like I should have to be at a loss for anything. You know, anything to rub off on, <laughs> dear little bird. <laughs> yes. You got 40 minutes. Okay, well let's let's check our um, the status of our um, paste, modeling paste. Okay. Yes, not to be confused with frottage. That, this oh, is a different which kind we of can rubbing. Frottage. You can frottage these. Oh, you should frottage some. That would be fun. It would be fun. Good job, Mo. Shoot. Yeah, and you need to wipe the back side of that because you got blurby business that just keeps giving. Blurby businesses. Mm -hmm. You got to take care of your blurby business. I do because once once you have these, it's a hygiene thing. The um, the pointy parts <laughs> of of the stencil. You're you're just you, I I don't know I wouldn't use this with the um I mean of course I would but. It will soak off. Your tape will detach and whatever, you know. Did you know? Did you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a goodness. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this. Yeah, the blues keep on a given. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I, I'm pretty much done with that. Oh, Nancy. Piddle parking around. Y'all know I love a pink wavy hand. Oh, uh, okay. Now, where are we here? We've got, oh, that was not too good. Got a lot of things with potential uh, muckabouts here, because they're not dry. Uh, I'm running out of, I guess I should, well, I can't do that because then I won't have access to my paint. What are you I'm doing? Kind of in a, one of them situations. I don't know what situation is that. Dry. Dry, folks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, because this is... Bye, Kat. Thanks for hanging Because on. this is Mariah's, we're going to go with a color choice that she would approve of. Oh, look at this. Are you frottaging that, or are, what are you... Are you just oh, no, it? I'm not frottaging. I'm just, um, I'm, uh, gel plating now. Oh, uh, I don't want you to gel plate it. You don't want me to gel plate this? Are you sure? I was thinking about using the this pink here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what I was thinking would be kind of cool is using the watercolors on it. Cause then you could kind of do different, the different circles and different colors. Oh, all right. And I think it could be done pretty quick. The nice thing is, is that whenever you're watercoloring over the paint. Well, I'm not set up with that, and I think that'd be a great thing for you to do on Monday. Okay. Y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. My Monday list is adding up, but that's all right. We'll get some of the journal done. I'm even thinking about on Monday... I was going to print out some of our old printables because I'm thinking that Shibori would look lovely with the Winter Wonderland stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's just about there. Mm -hmm. Mm 
that's just about there. I mean, I, it, it I, oh, Eleni, I you won't probably be do that. It's awesome stuff. But I'm not going to. We're going to do a couple of these. Okay. And I'm just going to put them side by side. <clears throat> this is kind of a blue day, right? Mm -hmm. Blue, blue. And I could just go ahead and put that other one down. What do I got here? I don't like that blue. Have I used every one? No, I haven't used every. I've used every one except for these two. So we'll just put them down next to each other and see what happens. <laughs> she didn't listen to me about the blue. I think you should do like a ombre on the thing. Maybe. Bye, Becky. Thanks for hanging. Yes. Glad you could be here. Yeah. That's probably enough paint to do three or four of these, but we'll get lots of um, pulls from this. I'm just thinking stars would be good for this one, too. All right, I do not want to brayer off on that. I'm getting ready here, folks. Getting ready. Well, I made a whole shibori book, and then we made the papers. The papers took for freaking ever to make. Remember that? Yes. Oh my goodness. They were probably that's probably one of the hardest sets that we ever did. I think it was one of the last sets. And that was that was <laughs> that was when we were she, using the point at things. And I'm like, you need to go away. We have now had a discussion about what needs to happen. You Check need to go that away. out. Kinda looks like um those picnic tablecloth. She's thinking about that, maybe. I think the problem with that Shibori set was that I had in my head... Oh, that's cool. She transferred the... Or is that... No. Is the stencil still down there? Yeah, the stencil's, stencil's down, still down there. Okay, never mind. I had in my head exactly this this well, that vision. Certainly didn't work very well. No, it didn't. But I do love this blue. I think this blue it's is very just periwinkle. Periwinkly. And so that's what took so long because trying to match a vision is frustrating. Let's get some paper down there, folks. I was not prepared to alter my plan. See what happens. <laughs> and it was causing issues. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, you know, sometimes you can just shoot yourself in the foot, just, you know, saying, by golly, I'm going to make this work. Make and this I work. am the big, I, I'm a big one on that. I know that I, many times, you know, I just get pig headed about it and mm -hmm. I won't listen and, yeah. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Oh, Shibori is, well, it's a, Oh, I don't know if this is going to okay, be Okay, Shibori is the dying technique. Shashikos yes. when they so Sorry, my brain just kind of had a little moment, even though, like... But it was really inspired by... Okay, I needed to pull off more, but this is cool. Here, let me show you something here. All right. Um, uh -oh. Look, it matches my outfit tonight. Well, we're not going to be able to use those two... Stencils because they're now glued down to you glued glued down to the paper. So we're gonna go with something else. And that's okay because look, they've got you've got a little, you know, suggestion of them in the background. Now we're gonna mm -hmm. you know this didn't work out, but now they you got know. Me soaked off. Now you know. <laughs> Knocking my cookies over. Around one. <laughs> <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Round one. Oh, here, we'll just, it, we, this is always good. And I have a new one. <laughs> how, how do you have a new one? Um, It just kind of happened to see one that was laying around down there. I just. Did you? Look at this. She's now scavenging for 
And I just found something else that I, I wanted to um, do some stuff on. Okay. All right. So we're going to, oh, we're not going to do that. But maybe then this is going to, this is very sticky paint. I'm here to tell you. This thalo boot. This is the hey, one that stuck Eddie's. Um, before you move on, I, I want, because they're asking about Shibori. Let's just open it up and then just give them a quick little view. You don't have to go through each page. We're not going to, you know, do a full on. Oh, yeah. I remember helping with this booger. Yeah, this is where, like, we were fighting about papers and everything. And I was just like, okay. Look at that. And then look at Mariah's little sewing business going down. on there. Isn't that adorable? Am I going the right Yep. Yeah, wrong way. There you go. Uh, sometimes. I, and here's this. Look at this. Isn't that it? actually was in the Dragonfly um, one, but then she needed to be in there. But look at that, how she turned that little piece back and put that little thing on there. Mariah is brilliant at this page business. And look at these. Oh, my gosh. And then I took that one. Oh, here. And now, this is one of my little envelopes. Shibori paper. And there's something inside of it. I don't know what it is. But yeah, don't go all I'm not. cray cray on that. And here is the all of the different ways that you can tie up your shibori to get different effects. And look at this little job. Hey, Monica. I can't tell you how long Mariah. <laughs> okay, well that one actually is from the, the Seaside Journals, the, the set. But then I was like, oh, well, once I created Shibori, it had to go over okay, here. That's it, why I it said I will up, take... But I'm not going to open it up. Yeah, don't do that. That's um, from Peg over at Two Old Crows. It's some Sienna type stuff that she made and, and she sent me. Heavy duty. Oh, I don't know. Is it embossing stuff or... Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's more of her stuff. I no, think. that is actually printables, I think, from Lisa. Oh. Serious Hecka. And here, the tongue depressor. Yeah, Harry, these Harry are one of those things depressors. that she thinks are ridiculous that I even make. Harry tongue depressors. I mean, come on, that you got to, you certainly have a, what do you call it, a, a thing on the market? I don't know. What I, I don't know how many people, you know, actually would be. But this is also a prime example of why one must think about how you want to construct your accordion because see, the the binding between the panels had to be done before the papers were put down. That came from Susan Taylor Brown. That 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 Particular fabric and, and some of those little bits, bits and, and pieces. Mm -hmm. And that couching or the yeah couching, I think is what it was. And this also. Uh, no, that actually came from. Lisa, serious hecka, she did a video where she dyed some silk and she sent it to me, which is fabulous. And then I glued it over because she, P, had done texture paste on the back of one of those sample cards. Like, um, from paint the, sample cards. Yeah, paint, paint swatches. Now, this is really beautiful papers mm -hmm. here, and I don't really know what. But look at, oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Those were, those were from Peg over at 2 Crow. She sent me three or four of them, and they all made it, I think, in here. And then that paper is from her. This it's on the front of the pocket there. But I, we did this. Yes. And I, I know I did this, yes. but I think Mariah painted that coppery stuff on there. I did, so it would go with that page. And there's another one of the Lisa dyed fabrics. And that's that other one from Peg. And then what I did is I actually sprayed that one a little bit, and that's why it has this... The, the blue that's running into the crackled part of the the tag piece. And then on the back side, these are really like the papers from the set. Not much is, was done to them. This is how they are printed out. Remember we fought about that one? And do you remember what that came from? Remember those mm -hmm. triangles? Oh, this. <laughs> Oh my God. Because I was going to make a book. Yeah, and so I take, these are little pieces of tape that I taped down onto cardstock, and it was going to, and, I, and then I was going to gesso over it and everything. But then you ended up jump printing it. Jump printing it and mussing it all up, and then, yeah, we yeah. used it in, in the journal. So there you go. That's Shibori. That thing took a very long time between the papers and making of the book.
And thank you for the silk, Lisa. It wouldn't have been the same without it. I, I love no. I love that little book. I, I forget about that. Now, I think now there's we have another videos. one that we did more fold and die kind of stuff. The long one. Fold and die. The long one. The long one. One of yours? I don't I think it was ours, Mariah. I well, they're all ours, but like did the idea come from you or from me? <laughs> Who was in charge? I don't know. <laughs> I think it became one of those things that happens so often. Is it starts out as Mariah. I mean, I love that you I, think I, that. I want I want her to do certain things and she won't do them or she has her own ideas about how to do them. Uh-huh. And then we have to go our separate ways because... And there's two books. There's two books. <laughs> this is what happens a lot of the time. Uh -huh. Okay, we're using some of this very sticky paint. But I'm not going to leave that booger down there and let that happen again. Mo says, PM dip dyed journal. Why does Mo remember and I don't? <laughs> Mo knows things. Mo knows things. Dear God, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> She's like our... Our, uh... our brain. <laughs> Our, our, our central processing unit. She is our CPU. Oh, that's so funny. Now, see this paint? By golly, you better get your stuff down there and you better get it up, on up. Because I am here to tell you it's, moving. it's no messing around. I don't love that blue, by the way. I think I mentioned that once, but I wanted to mention it again. Oh my gosh, look at how wonderful that is. Look at that. You can't go wrong with some broken aqueous. And it was so funny. Somebody said, is that a different aqueous? <laughs> and I was like, yes. How did I not know about that one? I'm like, well, it came a little later. <laughs> it did, in response to. Uh, the machine made that decision. The cricket. All right, now we're going to rip this off. Because it decided to cut some things and not cut others. And I, I thought it was bloody wonderful. Well, yeah, she picked it up, like, you know, her little scavenger hunt business, and then showed some people, and they are like, oh, that's... I was like, really? I mean, okay. Now, so, look at that, y'all. But don't let your paper sit oh, on top of this blue paint. What is the blue paint, other than just the blue paint? Blue paint here is this. And its name... Its name is Thalo Blue in the Blick Acrylic. That's it's for you, wonderful. Estella. I mean, I love it. And, and we're going to, you And thank know. you, Deb, for prompting. Uh, yeah. Estella, she was so proud of us, like, calling out paint names, and here we're, you know, dropping the ball. But I did show. I thought I showed. I, I probably didn't. I don't know. Okay, we're going to do a, try to get a little transparency going on here with this paint and some of the dragonfly. I'm going to let the cat in. What time is it? Do, am oh, yeah, I probably. running out of time? Probably. Because I want to um, have this blend a little bit more. Plus it's really cool to see what happens when you mix the uh, color shift paints with um, other paints. You can't always predict what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have 20 minutes. Oh, good. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. That Yes, it's a Blick fluid. And they've been on sale. I don't know if they still are. But they, they were on clearance. That's why she got them. Yeah. Look at that. Blue! Ocean blue. Ocean blue. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up the rest of this. Uh, Deb says, are all of the bl Blick fluids like that or just the phthalo blue? Well, I think uh, so far I've just noticed the phthalo blue. Which is kind of strange, right? But, I don't know. Yes, and the Baron is from Anthony Cody, and I think, yes, uh, Mo put that link in the chat. That's to his Etsy store. What happened to my stencil He was here earlier. Here. 
but now see what it does. See that? Sort of oxidation or something? Oh, yeah. But that's it almost looks like the paper stuck to it, but that's not... Yeah. That is interesting. It just reacts with the Yupo, and I don't know what, what the big hoop de doo is on that. hoop de doo Do not know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, here we go. We're going to um, use some white in the high flow. Deb says that uh, Blue has an opinion about art. <laughs> art says, whoa. I'll tell you what, the, these are dangerous paints, these high flows. I have more accidents with those than anything. <laughs> yeah, you do. That little nozzle. No nozzle gives me <laughs> grief all the time. And remember, that's the one that blurbed out all over my scarf. Oh, Susan. <laughs> Fortunately, it was, you know, it had a few strands of gold in it anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I can just turn it around. It'll be a story to tell in the future about, okay. you know, how that, those little dots of, mm -hmm. look at that beautiful blue there. Yeah, it's lovely. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. kind of opaque. Though. You need to use your new um, pale green. Well, I do. And this would be the yeah, I chance mean, it to do it. Good Ugh. golly. I'm telling y'all, now, the U-boat holds up. But there is a point. <laughs> it will take no more, and it will snap. <laughs> She's <laughs> giving it a go. <laughs> Oh, horse feathers. Nice little slap. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I think that's going to come up. I don't know. I've been working on this, peeling the, you know, little pieces out of the stars. There were still pieces in the stars? Oh, the one I used? It was stuck to the paper. Oh, well, you just take it to the bathroom and, and I'm gonna let you hose it down. Hose it down. I'm tired of picking at that. I did have Izzy, because she was very bored. And oh, look let her at have that. Her Isn't that gorgeous? That is really cool. Is that, like, basically three layers of it, right? Yeah. Or two? Three. Three. Because remember I did the first one in the dark blue, then the light blue, and then this blue. Mm -hmm. This one a little more coverage. I actually think I prefer... Er, sorry, sorry, I know that camera's probably going crazy with all this flip-flopping. Oh, no. Um, I, I prefer this one where there's a little less yes. opacity. Over here, kind of lost some got stuff. Murky, got murky. Now I can come back and hit this again with the darker color too. Yeah, yeah. Recover some of those areas. That's totally within the realm of possibility. But a little bit of shimmer. Remember, I brought in some of that dragonfly oh, to yes. put in with the blue. And you know what's really interesting about that is it's not a, you know, wham, smack you in the face. No, it's shimmer. kind of you have to discover it. It, it is. Look at it. And then, but it, what's cool is it helps with adding that dimension when layering like that. It really does. It's pretty amazing. I just didn't think about that. Yeah. I just, I just really, I, I, number one, I love this blue. Mariah calls it my Miami Vice blue. It's Miami Vice blue. It's a little late. Oh. I mean, if you're going to go blue, you might as well it go feels, the whole hog. Don't mess around with any of that. It feels you know. very commercial. It kind of is. Did, does that make sense? But I think it really works with this stencil in this instance mm -hmm. because of the layers of it. It's tamped back enough. And this looks really beautiful mm -hmm. with um, lavender. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly. Um, Wonderful. Lupine, Wonderful. Lupine Lupine blue. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to be having a major mm. mess up here with my 
dragging my computer off the... Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, let's check our other stuff we got going on over here. That looks cool. And I really think that's done. I don't... Now, I could come in with a darker... Um, purple. And here's what I would do. I'm just thinking about it. I would just very gently put the dark purple on. I would take me, rip it off to its sweet and then rub it so that it goes in the creases of the gold. But in order to do that, you need to give this two or three days drying time so yes. you can peel that booger right off. I was like, why there. are you talking about this? Why aren't you doing it? But then you just that, yes, because... Okay, remember how we did the trees, pull the trees off? Well, it'll pull off. It will, and right now it's just kind of like the outer skin of the tinsel butter yeah. is dry. So that, you can do certain things with it. Um, you don't want to be butting it up or smushing it with anything because, again, it will tear and smush and connect. It needs a few days. It does. Before you can start getting after it. <clears throat> with, with that other, you know, mm -hmm. shadow, shadowy technique. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, well, you got 15 minutes if you want to do something with the... I want to see it, the, what pale, else? the pale green. Oh! You can use aqueous again, or what else you got? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if y'all know I this, but my, we have uh, things so that, that they can only go on here in a certain way. This fat one's got to be next to the skinny ones <laughs> because otherwise they don't fit on the shelf. I don't know if y'all know this. I got to turn the brightness down on this because it's making me way. Oh, way, those, way, that's way, looking way. really there good too. Go. Okay. Um. Okay, there was a slight little wrinkle in the paper on that one star, but that's kind of cool. Do you do you want to take a guess at how many stencils we have in the shop? I mean, um, designs. 300. 429 as of today. 29. We have 88 foam stamps. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. It is. How Hello, many? Hello, Leslie. 429 different designs. How many stamps? 88. Wow. We have 56 pieces of art for sale, y'all. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Well, we've got this one, except I need dark on that. I don't need light on that one. Let's see what I've got back over here as far as the brighter off. Well, and we have, um, let's see. How many designers do we have? And then we have 29 different printable paper sets. I think how many designers we have. Hold on here. Oh, good golly. can work with some of Lisa's. I think we have 17, well, we have 17 different designers in stencils and then in stamps. I mean, obviously some of those are a crossover, but all in all, I think we have 18 or 19. Will be 19. I have another designer coming up, y'all. Secrets. You don't even know about that. Well, I'm going to save that for my purple. What are you a digging hard for? I'm finding a suitable. Eddie is a bi designer. Mm -hmm. A suitable background. He has both stencils and stamps. Did your stuff arrive yet? 
Eddie. Oh, I feel yeah, like this will be yes, a good did, one. But I don't know if I was just. This will be a good one. All right, I found something. Oh, I wasn't just you know farting, farting around. <laughs> you need to read some of the comments because there was a funny one. What? Funny ones? Uh huh. Like how funny? Like like very funny. super ha ha. I'm pretty sure. I think this was from Jamie, and she said, uh, and I'm kind of what, what do you call it when you like kind of oh, paraphrasing? Paraphrasing. Yes, thank you. Um, basically, it was the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you were all sniffly or whatever. But she says, yeah, you know a true artist when you think that, you know, she's digging through the Jerry Arnorama box but then turns around and is looking for more stuff. You thought she was going to get a tissue, but no, it was more art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, that was so funny. Okay, where's my new paint? I, I am so oh not in charge gosh, of that. Did I lose it? No, I didn't. I found it. Oh, it was right there. Oh, not yet, Debbie. Not yet. What is that? She wants to know who the new designer is. Oh, do I know? No, you don't. <laughs> they don't There's tell a me reason for that. Because, because she'll just got, start them. like just yammering, yammering about some things. Be like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, was I supposed to say that? Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all witness that. Hello, Deborah. Welcome. Yeah, you're just in time. Yes. For the bust out of Today's the, the day of Debs. <laughs> Titan. <laughs> Oh, yes, and this was sent to us by Deb. It's very opaque. Uh, let's see. I started uh, gesso using stencil, and it turned out okay. Yeah, gesso's not going to really be... Okay, so if you want loft and you want the design to be... What am I trying to say here? Okay, it's not that you can't use gesso, but if you're going to use gesso, really that should be more like a pointing or a dabbing type, you know, more traditional stencil technique. For loft and a, a true representation of the design in that loft, you're going to want to use something that is a little bit thicker and has more, you know, heavy... I don't want to say heavy body, but that really is kind of it. But texture paste um, and like the stencil butter. They are meant for like holding their form. There we go. Those are the words I was really going after. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Um, and it's not that, yeah, yeah. Let's see, using pastels, acrylic paint, is that true? Um, oh my God, that's really pretty. That looks fantastic. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, now I can come back in down here with my little one because I have a little one of these. Mm -hmm. And these areas here I can do some dimensional. Thank you, Margaret. Dabbing in. And that that would be really <laughs> cool. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, I love the Titan. The, the, it, it is a great color. <laughs> Just know it's extremely opaque if you want to cover up areas. Yes. Um, so, as far as, like, our stencils are concerned with the UPO, obviously, um, yes, the most ideal products are going to be ones that are, um, like, a, like, but you can even use watercolors or water-based products, I guess is really what I'm kind of thinking of here. But people use all sorts of things. I, I'm just pushing some of this yeah, off that's of this to break pencil up that edge. to break up the edge mm -hmm. and maybe kind of make it a little more gentle transition. Well, I pretty well <laughs> met the end of that. All right, so I'm I'm tr this is this is what happens. This is an eight uh eight eight what? by ten. Yes, thank you. Eight by ten, okay? Eight by ten, and I do love it. Yeah, but exactly. But I, I really, yeah. I, I need um, the big one because it's going off the edge. Yeah. And I think that this is dry enough on here that it's not going to be. Yeah. A problem. Okay, now mm -hmm. what I can do 
as soon as I get this up here where it's not going to tip off and be all over me. Because I'm not going to need that barren here. I need something. I need something. What do I need? I need something in. Oh, and we were going to do a little frittage, but we didn't do the frittage. We That's didn't. another way to use stencil. Yeah, it is. As a rubbing, you can put it underneath the paper. And so if you have oil pastels or even just chalk pastels. Um, it, can you see this? Is this visible? Yeah, I mean, I can turn your thing off again, but people like to look at you. But that, that one's right there in the... You're good. Can't see the sponges. Well, that's not necessary. They're okay. all ugly anyway. They're used and abused and oh yes um okay it's asking paint sprays oh yeah definitely yeah 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 okay i'm just taking some of that stencil butter which i like to use for this because it's very thick and i don't have to wish worry about it squishing underneath the and what i'm doing is i'm just coming in and hitting some of those areas that i didn't get so this would be a more traditional way of people like how people would use stencils it's just dabbing Especially with the paint, you want to dab. Sprays, you could just spray it on there. And, and the thing about this is, is if you're using, the paint that you use is really important. It's important because it's thickness is what makes it successful. If it's loosey-goosey and swishy, it's gonna go underneath. It's going to go underneath your stencil. Yeah. Hopefully these are kind of answering some of Leslie's questions there. I think you need more oomph. For your, and, and don't don't bring that into your design so much. The one that's already there. I'm just saying. She gave me a look and I felt it. Didn't even have to look over there. Why the pecan saw? It isn't. It is on. I, I left oh. it on. I don't want people to miss out on your dirty looks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm liking that, sort of, kind of. Where's my Titan? Bye, Martha. Thanks for hanging. Bye, Martha. Okay, I'm going to mix. I'm just going to put this out here, and I'm not going to worry about cleaning my sponge off or anything. I'm just putting a teeny tiny. You got four minutes. And then pea I'm turning size, you off. Pea size amount. You're just going to turn me off? That yep. is so <laughs> rude. Bye. <laughs> Hasta la vista. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see who sticks around. See, some are already, they're, they're dropping out. Are they dropping like flies? <laughs> you better just hang in there, folks. Something special might happen. They're like, oh, God, she's dabbing. <laughs> I gotta go. Look at that. See, it just needed a little bit more yeah. punch. 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 Okay. Try to mm -hmm. turn this baby around without ending up in my... Lap. We need some work down here. Debbie's hanging. Debbie's hanging. Bless her heart. Mm -hmm. What we should do is we should, now that all those people have left, let's do a giveaway. Okay. That'd be really rude. You want to do a giveaway? Uh, absolutely. I know. Yeah. We'll give away this print. <gasps> That's a good giveaway. Let me get the thing queued up because I can have it. See, y'all just don't know. You hang out for the very last few minutes. <laughs> good things. Let's see, Nightbot, that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Giveaways. Turning that brightness down. because it. Well, okay. we could give away this one and one of the blues. Oh, okay. I like this so idea. So, two. I like what you're doing, Pete. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, keyword? Are we going to do the keyword thing, or should I just pick them? Uh, just pick them. Are we doing two giveaways, or just both things go to one person? I think we should do two. How many people do we have? Oh, if we do two, then let's do it with a hashtag. What are we calling this one? Print one. Alright y'all, if you're interested in this particular print, this is print one. Even though this was the second one done, but don't judge me. <laughs> don't, 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 don't judge me. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm not quite finished with it because I don't like this line here. 
I'm going to make that more better. More better. That's going to be more better. better. So put, yeah, print one there in chat. See, y'all know how to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. See, this is getting us geared up for our giveaways. Tiny bit of quinacridone. Burnt orange, which I'm going to fade out that. Mm-hmm brown line there. I might have to come back in with some kind of goopy green. <laughs> Buff that out. Alright, I'm hitting the thing in five, four, three, two, one. Aw, Miriam! That's awesome! We can send that to you. Of course we will. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, well that turned out to be kind of pukey. She'll fix it, Miriam. Don't worry. I'll fix it. And then if you don't like it, you can just print over it because God knows she has no problem printing over everybody else's things. <laughs> Hoop de do. Hoop de do. I think it's just part of like when you the send things. The thing is, is when know. you screw up, you just repeat it and then everybody will think yeah. you meant for it to happen that way. Oh, right. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on here. Hold on. Because I'm slamming my support. Okay, let's do hashtag print number two, and that'll be the blue one. Or maybe she'll even give you both blue ones. So you can see the murkiness and the loveliness of the other one. I don't know what she's doing. I feel like I should smack her and tell her to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing because she knows that it might be true. <laughs> I am not. She's getting carried away. She's... But I need more quinac. Okay, I'm not liking this, Miriam. I promise this is going to be, be a really, lovely. a really good one. <laughs> Just not yet. I have too much, too much stuff interfering with my. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to roll it in five, four, three, two, one. Here Lydia. Oh. Awesome. All right. And let me. Yeah, I need sticky notes, because otherwise I'm not going to remember. I, I think I'm going to remember these things, and then I don't. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We very much appreciate it. This was all the Thursday Thoughts and Artie Fun stream, and if you're back on Sunday, join us with the interview of Fran on the Edge. It shall be fun. Thanks for and I'm gonna out. ask her I'm gonna ask her a whole lot of personal questions. Probably inappropriate things, but she'll enjoy it because she they're will. both kind of funny that way. Alright guys, we'll see you then. Thanks for hanging. Bye.